we're resuming the case. We don't know whether the man's been killed, whether he's faking his death, but it's episode four of L.A. Noir. I think it's four. Yeah, it's four. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. No, you don't. This is exactly where it ended. It's running. The last episode. This guy's an old drunk. I'm going to talk to this bitch if it lets me anyway. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink? For, for old time's sake. Old time's sake. Bullshit. Piss off, mate. Where's that guy? Looking for someone. Waitress. Yeah, looking for you, punk. Bruce Beer's all around, dog. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. I'm going up to the lakes to watch the races on Saturday. I wonder if I can talk to anybody else. That cherry pie was delicious. I'm going to put my yellow glasses on. Frank Morgan? I put that. Really sure. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Hmm. Why is he being such a jerk about it? I've got a problem with recording these with such long gaps is I've got to remember. Like. I've got to remember. What the evidence was that I was looking at. Receipt for live hog. F. Morgan. Oh. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good now boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Man, now he's lying. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. I've got plenty of intuition that could remove one of these for me, but let's look at the notebook. I think he took off for Seattle. For the sweet Los Angeles to Seattle. He's telling the truth. Everything, everything adds up. How was he getting there? I don't know. Maybe a Greyhound? You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. What? So Adrian isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to use one of these intuitions. Can we ask? Let's ask the community. 63% did lie. Ooh, that didn't help me at all, but what do I pin on here? Maybe I could use the bloody pipe? You're lying, Morgan. You killed Black and hid the body. Where is it? Me? Hey, all I did was help the fool. You're gonna need a lot more than that to prove that I hurt him. A 
I've had about enough of you two. How about wrong. you guys go find another oh, table? I'm fucking struggling. Okay? This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You know my I don't do better than that. You tell Morgan. Suck. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. I fucked that up so bad. The car just crashed behind me. He just leaves the bus straight away. Sure left his drink in a hurry. Bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. So it blinks if I get too close. Which I don't want to do that. That's definitely time, man. Easy, Cole. Better back it off. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Shut up. I'm trying. Just trying not to go too far. I'm not even sure which car he is. I didn't see anybody. Oh, I ah, that's it. We're spotted. Back off. Hey, back off. Out. Come on. Let's get it. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from the bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was non stop glamour work. That's how I run. I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. Gold handles, man. I can go in. Morgan, number two. Apartment two. Just make sure there's no other names there. All right, let's pay our friend a visit. I'm going to punch on with you, my man. Apartment one to four. Can't read what number it is. One. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD, give yourself up now. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll really? Remember, I don't go after you. You're lucky I don't shoot you, motherfucker. There's no point running, Adrian. How the fuck did he get this? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. He, done, he slipped me. Oh, he made 
piece of like shit. Stop right there, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. I'm really struggling. Huh? It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Oh, God. Why the Lucky. melodrama? I thought the it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. Ooh, I actually passed the case and I fucked it up so much. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, you can go a long way in this department. I thought I did fucking shit. Lucky if I get two stars. Maybe one star. A little bit of damage. Holy smokes. Fifty dollars worth of injuries. Oh. Oh. Distinguish. New case already. We get to start a new one on this episode as well. The consul's car. So then, like mini episodes. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. I didn't want to arrest you, kid. Abandoned vehicle, so Oswald Jacobs, but we're in yeah, traffic. Better go earn so. our pathetic wages. Sorry. Rimsky, O'Halloran, intelligence has information related. on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new packet unless they borrowed it without asking. Oh, a shiny you know, new packet. Man, I don't Very want this funny. police car. I want this one. Come on, man. I want some more detective car. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Wow. Margaret should show some She's pride. She's going to take him back. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Amazing. Talking from experience. Dump car, brand new packet. I don't even know what a packet is. It's like an old school car that they're driving. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Car's down the alleyway, detectives. I gotta try and get all the clues. Oh, someone stole the front right hand tire. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore headed old son of a bitch anyway. Still going. So we're gonna search every fucking inch of this place seriously. Search these old 
old skivvies if we have to. I mean, it might be best to search the car first. Oh! Name and style. Sold by the Argentinian clip. Embassy. Licensed fee received. L. Davis, Los Angeles. Empty. Empty, where's the spare? The spare and the one tire off the front's gone. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. That's true. Number plate's gone too. The license plate. Oh, fuck. Flag's missing. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it any street value. Give me some room, huh? I have to get this done. Fuck off, I'm nuts. Oh, I almost had it. Oh. I kind of get it and it vibrates. And it just stop. Combination wrench. I must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Property of Dewey Bros. Oh, oh the old baseball. No good to me. You sure? We're gonna check everything, motherfucker. Even this old Doesn't tell cup. me anything. What was Bukowski looking at over here? Something on the ground. Incidental. Sure, this means much. A bat and a ball. Maybe someone got their head smacked in. Can't talk to you. Maybe we ring the use the game well, police phone. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thank you. Still music going. What have I missed? It's not old mate. I mean, oh, maybe it's old mate. Who else? Well, I can't even. 
Where's Bukowski looking? Who are you looking, man? I got okay. friends who work at the examiner. About 50 bucks for an exclusive. You're going to that baseball too. Oh, I guess we just go talk to old mate. Maybe that's why the music's still going on. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. That's the dad of Bill and Ted. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? You can tell. Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. I'm going to use my intuition again and remove an answer. Oh, I went to the wrong one. 91% to the truth. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. Oh. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. I think he's telling the truth. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. All right, all right. Two, two, all right. After the uh, Mexicans left, <clears throat> you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Mm. I think he's full of shit. Mm. Missing Argentinian wrench. Spare wheel is missing too, not just a phone. Oh, I doubt him. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Oh. I got it right. I'm a surprise. What you exactly are. did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? No, I, mean, I thought the flag. <sighs> Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. Yeah. I you should show me some respect. Damn it. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. Curious what he didn't want us to see? 
47 agenda, Juan Franco Valdez. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Can't see any other name here. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Phelps, How can I help, else? Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's that school officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. I think we've got to go Thanks, look man. at the Dewey Bros first. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. I know there's music still going, but I'm telling you, there's nothing fucking else. What do you want me to do? We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your Packard. call. I've absolutely looked everywhere. Buddy, but I wish you'd stop. Oh, relax, love. Just fucking come out of each other. Feel free to fuck off now. Will I jump this like a hurdle? Oh, hey. look even in them sweet kicks I did there. Can I go over and talk to him again after that book? I've done the right thing and answered all your questions. Now quit sweating on me and go get those boys. Hmm. He took the book from the car and I'm nuts. Uh, well, I found everything. I'm not going back. Pekowski's in the car waiting. Let's go to Dewey Brothers. I don't want to go I swear, this town is straight yet. to hell. Yeah, I think you just can't turn these corners back in the floor. This has got to be the 50th oh. abandoned vehicle call we've got this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Roadways. Not your favorite cases? I mean, you nothing. kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. We just, just 
smash through here. Uh, All units, I'll show you how Major 415, 1624 West 3rd Street, 1624 West 3rd Street. Any unit to handle code 3, identify. I'm going to go right, yeah, I'm going to go right in the next one. We'll interview these guys first, and then we'll, uh... Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way up. past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, so Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Let's go. Old mate said he knows how to find out. I think I was a flog the fuck out of someone. Oh. We keep all our tools in here. More clues here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. Oh, it was red. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Three, Why don't you four. give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. I think that was too small. I should move that one down, but maybe not. Got it right. Mm, yep. One left. Three quarter. Gabriel inch. Delgado is missing a three quarter. He sure is. Such every inch of this fuck. Nothing significant. License plate. Circumstantial. Hey. You play me like this. What's that? I don't think so. diplomatic plates. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. Doesn't look like anything. Just have a look at a random fucking pair of pliers and a spark plug. Probably nothing. It's annoying that I keep seeing, hearing this music. I doubt it. There's nothing extra. Me that that music 
disappears when we leave there. So clearly, comes back when I go in. What the fuck am I missing? Shangly, frustrating. Probably just as frustrating to fucking watch. You know what, let's just go fuck the music. Seriously, I think it just tries to trick us. Two and a half grand for a car, fuck yeah. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Oh, I'm doubting him. He looked away. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. <laughs> a wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. So that's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. Fuck. Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by... Oh, I should have used the Delgado Ranch. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Seems pretty staunch about it. Abandoned vehicle registration. He's a liar. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. Mm. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Mm -hmm. Going to movies, Dewey, you're missing your calling. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. Yeah, it is. All right, once we get to his place, it should say saving, and then we're good to go. Tell you what, we're doing all right with these cases so far, and I'm enjoying this game. I'm not the greatest detective, but I'm getting better. I probably won't cut a lot of the driving out. Yeah. Only because sometimes they talk to each other. But if there's no talking, I might cut some out. Sometimes what they talk about pertains to the case. Do you read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know. Oh. You're a goddamn menace! Um, You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. 
third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking to color. Look what we have now. True that. INS officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Officer needs help. The earth is flat. Some people still do. Flat Earth, as a lot of them believe, the Earth is flat, but like in a dome, like a snow globe. Solved the big case and got promoted. On the other side here, is it? Can we jump over the fence? We can. Hell yeah, we can! God, don't make us chase him immediately. Three of them. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. Save it! I just hope our archangel hasn't already flown. Okay. All I'm going to say is thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying this series as much as I am, why not give me a follow and subscribe to this channel? There's a whole bunch more videos. There's like hundreds of videos on this channel that you can watch and have fun with. Um, well, maybe get frustrated a little bit. Uh, if you do enjoy it, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Any of those three really, really help. Um, if you want some live gameplay, you can head to twitch.tv forward slash the no good game where I play um, horror games on Thursdays called Thriller Thursdays. We do random multiplayer games on Saturdays and then community games Sundays, 18 plus, super fun. That's twitch.tv forward slash the no good game. Or you can follow me on Instagram at the no good game. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.